You know, Manic, this is actually a really unexpected surprise. I never thought you would actually come by here. Yeah, it has been a long time since I last seen you, bro. Yeah, I know. So, Manic, what actually brings you by here? Because, you know, I've been busy with my, uh, <clears throat> my harem business and all that other stuff and protecting the world. Yeah, I know. But don't you just have time to talk to your little brother? Well, I guess. <sighs> so, Manic, <clears throat> what did you want to talk about? Well, do you remember this girl right here? Oh, yeah. That was your, oh, yeah, your girlfriend ex and your wife, Alicia. I remember her. Well, I remember when you first brought her over here. Yeah, things are definitely going nuts between us. Oh, um, what kind of stuff is going nuts? Well, I'm starting to think that she's a gold digger. Wait, a gold digger? What do you mean? Well, let me tell you a little bit of what happened after when we got married. Well, after when we got married, we were looking for great, we were looking for houses to live in so that way we can live together. I was looking for cheap apartments because, you know, we can't work our way up to the mansions and stuff right away. But little did I know was that Alicia, she was looking at mansion magazines. Wait, she wanted you to buy a mansion? Yes, she wanted me to buy a mansion right away. And I wasn't really too sure if I wanted to spend all of the money that mom sent us right away just to buy a house. I mean, what about furniture? What about food and all that other stuff? So we went for the, so we went for the apartment just for a little bit. Of course, Alicia, she was a little bit happy, but secret, sure, she was a little bit happy, but she still read those mansion magazines. Then one day I decided to sell the apartment and then buy the mansion just to make her happy. Well, at least you made your girl happy. Okay, so that doesn't necessarily mean she's a gold digger because she's, you know, looking at ma mansion magazines. Hold up, it gets, it gets worse. And now we're thinking about getting a car. But wait a minute, what happened to the, what happened to the van that you used to drive us around during the Sonic Underground days? Do you honestly think that Alicia will want to drive her on in that thing? Well, that is true. Yeah, so I decided to look for a very nice looking car. And she was looking at sports cars. Wait, you mean like racing cars? Like a uh, Lamborghini, a, a Ravana Racer and all that other stuff? Yes, she was looking at all those different types of cars. But me, I was just looking for something that has four wheels, an engine, and runs. I mean, sure, I do love a good need for speed, but come on, I don't need to burn that much gas. Well, yeah, that is true. And so I ended up buying a very expensive car just to make her happy. Oh boy, that's just horrible. Okay, and if you think that's crazy, get this. A few days ago, a few days ago, I was looking for a great present for her. I was looking for a great present for her. I thought about getting her a nice little diamond ring, but instead I ended up getting her a pearl necklace. Were the pearls even real, Manic? No, they were like artificially made pearls. I mean, like I said, I just wanted to stay in budget. But <laughs> after when I gave it to her, she was happy at first. But then, as I was walking down the street, I saw her in a pawn shop. A pawn shop? Yeah, I seen her in a pawn shop. And she pawned the necklace just for a diamond ring. Now, if that doesn't say gold digger, I don't know what does, Manic. Yeah, so you really gotta help me, bro. What should I do? Well, maybe you should, well... Maybe if you just sat down and talked with her for a little bit. Yeah, maybe I might do that. I don't know. I don't know if I should yet, because what if she could be wrong? What if we could be wrong, bro? I mean, what if she's not a gold digger? 
And what if she just likes expensive things? I mean, think about it. Do you on it? But there's also the big question. Does she actually like me for me? Or because I was rich and she wanted to feel rich too? I don't know, bro. I mean, it is a lot of complications. I mean, I tried to deal with, I mean, I tried to call Sonic, but you know, with him being grounded and everything, it's just complicated. I even tried calling Sonya, but she's not answering her phone. Oh, that's because Sonya left her phone while she's on vacation for a little while. Uh, just great. Of all the times for her to take a vacation, she leaves her phone. She went to a silent retreat, dude. I mean, she needs to unwind after dealing with us after dealing with us for a long time. Well, yeah, I know, but what about Amy? I heard that you two were I heard that you two were getting together. Well, technically we are, but Amy, she's not really in the mood to give advice right now. She's still trying to mend her broken heart. Well, I see. But what about mom? Honestly, I don't think mom, she's going to be, you know, in the right mind to deal with somebody like that because she's still really mad at Sonic. So in a way, I'm alone in this. No, you're not. You got me. I mean, I can help. I mean, I'm helping you. Yeah, thanks for the help, bro. But anyway, how are we going to prove that she is a gold digger? Hmm, I don't know. Well, there is one way to prove that she is a gold digger. Oh, and what's that? I was thinking we do a gold digger test. Um, okay. Okay, here's, okay, so here's what I was thinking. A gold digger test is when you actually prove that she is a gold digger. See, what you got to do is that you got to get rid of all of the expensive stuff that she, that, that, that you bought. The diamond ring, the cool car, the house, everything. You got to get rid of it. I have an idea. Wire me the money and I'll just hang on to it until we, the test is done, okay? Um, okay, but what does this have to do with the loyalty test? Well, basically, the test is, we'll see if she does actually like you for your money or just for you. Oh, I see. So, if she stays with me because I don't have any money, then it proves that she's not a gold digger. She loves me for me. But if she leaves me to be with somebody that has money, then, yeah, she's a gold digger. Well, what do you say, bro? You want to try the gold digger test? Yeah, it's the least I can do and try this. Oh, boy. Flamethrowers, if you guys are watching this, um, this is only part one of this video. And I'm going to be filming part, and I'm going to be doing part two uh, later today, because guys, let me just tell you, you guys really gotta know what the heck that loyalty test was about. Oh boy, and I'm gonna be telling you the aftermath of the loyalty test, because guys, let me just tell you, it's too gruesome for you guys to see, and it's horrible, because guys, my brother Manic over here is really hurting, and think about it, he did all this stuff for his girl, and yet, she's over here being a gold digger, but anyway... We'll soon get to the bottom of this, Manic. I you I guarantee it. Well, I believe in you, bro. Well, I better get up out of here. Well, okay then, Manic. Talk to you later, bro. Poor, poor Manic. Well, stay tuned for part two of Manic and the Gold Digging Wife. Stay tuned for this, guys. And if you guys enjoyed part one... Please like and subscribe, okay, guys? If you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So that way, you guys get up to date whenever I post. And like I said before, guys, I'm going to be posting part two later on today. But anyway, guys, this is Flame the Dragon Hog signing out for now. And guys, please put down in the comments down below, uh, you guys are showing Manic your support because i never seen my bro like this. I mean, last time I seen him this sad was when we lost Art. You know, that shape-shifting robot that Eggman made. That learning robot and stuff. And not to mention Hip Hedgehog. That robot hedgehog that 
that Eggman built to trick us into thinking there was an actual baby. Oh boy. But anyway. <sighs> this is Flame the Dragon Hog. Signing out for now. Later, flamethrowers.